What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be trying to get my car to idle a lot better. Recently it's been idling a little poorly um, when I'm coming to a stop. So I'm going to be trying to change out the four spark plugs. I'm also going to try to clean up the mass airflow sensor and then also clean out the throttle body with some car cleaner. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do, we're going to take off the engine cover so we can get access to the spark plug. Alright, we're just going to have to loosen up each coil pack. Um, just pull them out and then we'll break loose the spark plugs. So after you get all the coil packs out, um, hopefully you don't get any oil on the ends of those. That means that you've got a valve cover leak. Um, now we'll go and take the spark plugs out. It's going to be a 14 millimeter bolt for my 2009 Toyota Corolla. It's going to probably be a little different than yours if you're doing a different car. And a spark plug socket would definitely help. All right, now that we got all the coil packs out, now it's time to get the spark plugs out. I got a 14 millimeter deep socket. I didn't have a spark plug socket, but a 14 millimeter will work to loosen it. And then all you'll do is just take the end of the, the coil pack and just push it on top and then pull the plug out. And then, like I said, you'll just take the coil pack, stick it down in there pull out your spark plug. Let's do that to the rest of them. So here's what one of the old spark plugs look like. Mm, that's not too bad looking. And this is what the new one looks like. This car has a little over 120,000 miles on it, so it's pretty much time to replace the spark plugs. So let's put these brand new ones in now. And when you're putting the new spark plugs in, make sure you hand tighten them first without even a wrench. Get them pretty much as far as you can go. They should almost bottom out. And then once you get them all hand tight, we'll just give them a nice snug at the end. airflow sensor. Um, pretty simple. There's just two screws. Um, mine's a little different, but I mean, if yours is stock, yours will be somewhere over here. Um, mine's moved just a little bit because of the cold air intake I got. Um, and I believe on the stock one, it's going to be a Phillips. On mine, it's an Allen key. We'll just unplug the sensor and then take these two screws out and then we'll take a look at it. All right, so when you pull it out, this is what it's going to look like. Just a piece of plastic but the thing we're more concerned about is right down in here those two little prongs those are what we got to clean um mine is slightly dirty on one side you can see it's like a little dull on that but now if i flip it over it's a lot shinier so we're going to try to just spray that off and clean it you really don't want to touch this at all and you're going to make sure you're using a mass airflow sensor cleaner it's meant for these and it will not leave a residue or ruin any of the plastic that's around it. So let's spray it. Alright, we got the mass airflow sensor back in after I sprayed it down and let it dry for a little bit. Now we're going to move on to the throttle body, which I'm pretty sure this is probably the main cause of my idling problem. We'll end with this, so we're going to have to take off the air inlet tube. And there's a couple vacuum hoses on it, and then a 
couple cool hoses that we'll have to take off as well. And then there's four bolts, two on the top, two on the bottom, and then it should slide right off. All right, I got the throttle body out. Um, like I said, there's four bolts here. There were two coolant lines on the bottom. Um, something I did that helped is I got some wire nuts and I just shoved it into the ends just to help them stop leaking. Cause one of them was leaking quite a bit when I pulled it out. So I ended up putting it back on and got something to plug it up. And the wire nuts kind of wedge in there perfectly. There is a, a wire harness that you gotta unplug. And then there's a vacuum line up here and then the vacuum line on your intake and then you should be able to pull it right off. So here's the throttle body. Um, the front looks pretty clean. So, I mean, that's not really the problem. It's gonna flip it over. All the carbon buildup and stuff on the back is what we're gonna go through. So, and you gotta be careful. Try not to push too much onto the the, the paddle in here. Um, Cause otherwise you don't wanna ruin any of the electronics or anything when you force it open. So just try not to move that as much and just spray it and scrub it with like a towel, a microfiber or something. That way you don't scratch anything on the inside. All right, so I used a, a nylon brush and just a microfiber towel with some carb choke parts cleaner. This is exactly what it's meant for. Um, sprayed it in there and just scrubbed around. It looks a lot better than what it did before. So let's put it back in the car now. All right. So now I got the throttle body bolted all back on, all the lines all hooked up. Um, yeah, I had a little coolant leak, that's why I plugged up the, the lines. Um, so now we're all done. Alright, now let's start the car and see how the car idles now. And right now the car's a little cold. But we'll see. It used to start going down to about 600 RPMs and then surge back up to about a thousand and keep doing that every time I was just stopped. But right now it's looking pretty good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.